we are going to take the graph of f of x and translate it seven units down, three units to the left. And we want to know what the new function rule is for g of x if f of x originally is x squared. All right, so a couple of things to recap. If we're going up or down, we are going to add or subtract outside of a parentheses. If we are going left or right, we are going to go plus or minus inside of a parentheses. So since we actually have both transformations going on here, well, we're gonna go ahead and put a parentheses in there. I know the parentheses has an X because it was X squared originally, and I know the parentheses is squared because the original function was X squared. So let's deal with the seven units down first. Remember, that's gonna be plus or minus outside of a parentheses. That means we're gonna do the down seven part over here. Because it's down, we're gonna go ahead and do a minus seven. Because when you're outside of a parentheses, it's what you naturally think. Up means plus, down means minus. Then let's do the three units to the left. And this is plus or minus inside the parentheses. But when it's inside the parentheses, it's the opposite of what you think. So you normally would think left went minus. So instead we do the opposite. So we do a plus three there. And that's my function rule. So just to recap, up or down is outside of the parentheses. And the sign plus or minus is what you naturally think. Up means plus, down means minus. Left or right is shown inside the parentheses, and it's the opposite of what you think. You would think left meant minus, but we put plus here. Right, you normally would think would mean plus, but you we do minus instead. 